Hi there, my name is Jessica Drossen, and today I'm going to show you the second part of the grass overlays and brushes set. Just another thing that you can do with these, and this is in a more traditional green grassy environment. I just grabbed a photo at random here, and let's say that I wanted to, maybe she was on cement, or perhaps I upped her little feet off or something, and I needed to add some canvas to make it a less awkward crop what I would do would be to grab one of these grass overlays. So I'm going to just, I've already selected a couple, so I'm going to select all, copy, and I'm going to paste this one in. So you can see it has some foreground blur. So I'm just going to bring it to the bottom here. And now I'm going to add another overlay. So let's say that I wanted to totally get rid of these little uh, wood chips. So I'm going to just grab another one of the grass overlays. Now because it's further back in the distance, I am placing this layer underneath of the foreground layer. These grass blades are smaller and I'm just going to position it here and use your scale tool if you need to. And now I'm duplicating the layer with um, Vivi on it, and I'm placing it right here um, above this layer, and I'm going to now just mask out some of this grass. So what I'm doing, I've, I have a mask that's black, so what I'm doing by painting into it with white is I'm revealing her little boots here. So basically, this whole layer of her is hidden with the exception of her boots. And now I'm just going to move this layer and kind of sandwich it in between my foreground overlay layer and my sort of background grass overlay layer. All right? And then I can just move this grass overlay layer that's on the top. I can just sort of move it around to where I feel like it fits the best. Now if I want to add some more blades, there's other overlays that will just add in a few blades. And again, I'm just going to rearrange my layers to place it in the correct spot. And now let's go over to the grass overlay uh, bonus actions that will help you integrate. So first off, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that I have the layer that I want selected. And I'm going to give it a little more blur at the very bottom. So I'm picking the blur lower bottom. And that's just going to add a little bit to my feeling. Um, it's going to add to the little bit of the depth of focus effect. And then I can go here and I can change the tonalities. So I can warm it or cool the grass. And then I can go to the opacity. And if it's too much, I can lower it down. I can use them at the same time, which tends to give you an altogether different tone, but basically the choices are all yours here. And whatever I do to the, since I'm working with two grass overlays, whatever I do to the first one, I'm going to want to do as well to the second one. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching.